Today on Crimes Among Us, I bring you the mysterious death of Kendrick Johnson. January the 11th, 2013, body of Kendrick Johnson was found in a rolled up mat inside of the gymnasium. This was at the Lowndes High School in Valdesta, Georgia, where he was a student. His body had been discovered by fellow students who had allegedly climbed up to the top of the cluster of the mats. These mats stood six feet tall, about three foot wide. Authorities hypothesized that Johnson had been climbing on the top of the mat and allegedly fallen into the mat trying to retrieve his shoe. And when he couldn't retrieve it or couldn't climb back out, he died. Students at Lowndes told investigators that it was common for students to sometimes hide their shoes behind the mats um, that were rolled up or somewhere over there in that area. But what I don't understand is why was this done in the far corner? I mean, this corner was all the way against the wall behind everything else. Would he have been hiding his shoes? Had somebody been stealing his shoes? What was so important about these shoes that everybody in the school just wanted to take them and he had to take such drastic measures to hide these shoes? Nothing about that makes sense to me. One of the coaches placed the mat in a horizontal position, exposing the upper torso of his body. One student allegedly saw a bruise on Kendrick's jaw, while the other student allegedly saw no form of trauma whatsoever. The shoe that investigators say he was reaching for when he suffocated had no blood on it. It had blood all around it, leading you to think that possibly somebody could have laid the shoe there afterwards to corroborate the story on him dying from reaching for his shoe. Crime scene photos show blood on the walls where the mat was at. I mean, this would have had to have been some messy accidental death. Lieutenant Stride Jones, who headed the investigation for Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, stated, We never had credible information that indicated this was anything other than an accident. Johnson's family questioned this hypothesis. Please follow me for part two.